quickly now! The sacrifice is missing! Lower the sails! Uh, and turn! Hurry! The waves are too strong! Water is rushing in! Half the cabin is already flooded! Now, throw it in the ocean! Fools. Any further in a storm would be the last thing on your minds. Were you abandoned? <laughs> Did you ask for my assistance? me. I said release me. <sighs> I will grant you deliverance. And in exchange, offer yourself, your everything to me. Become my follower, mortal. Is she dead? Can dead bodies be used for research? Her body is warm, and she still breathes. Why won't she wake up? <sighs> Did you forget our lessons in the study of human anatomy? They aren't like us. Oh. Must be cerebral hypoxia caused by pressure differences. Let's record this observation in our next report. Hmm. If her soul has returned to the heavens, we should ask Raphael if we can dissect her. The college hasn't had a fresh human specimen for hundreds of years. She, she's awake! Her eyes are open! Keep your distance. She bites. <gasps> A glance would reveal that you are in Lemuria. Treat her wounds and give her clean clothes. I'll inform Elder Amund that we've found my devout follower. Worry not. When Raphael brought you back, it seems you'd be vomiting bubbles with the crabs for a fortnight. My name is Algy. He's Conch. You're the first live human we've met. Well, they're the ones who swam along the currents, but... None could talk like you. You're scaring her, sister. Look, her hands shake like a shrimp saying a whale for the first time. Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean it. You'll know when you visit the temple. It's a very, very long tale. I'll tell it on the way.
Stop running around. Do that, and the humans will get you. Haven't you heard? They'll skin you, the child like every scale, scale and, and turn you into a lamp. Stung. We're here. Now his brain Welcome is to Whale Fall sand, City. Saying he's best friends with the starfish. Elder Amund maintains the temple. He believes only the most devout, sincerest worship can awaken the Sea God's powers and keep the flame strong. Humans are the most selfish, greediest of creatures. Thus, when they offer their hearts, love, even their lives, tis considered the most precious form of worship. The tome also confirms Raphael will be the last god of the sea. Therefore... Conch. Uh, I just remembered. I still have a report to write. F farewell! She is most suited to be the one. She's the human your quintessence decided on. Twas more of fate's whimsy. I wandered about on the earth and became her cushion as she fell. For now, I shall forget your quintessence snuck out and burned the god's hair. I must ask again, is she truly to be the human your quintessence is bound to? As long as the sea god's ceremony is assured, I will make her my follower. However, we should remove all her teeth and nails. I worry she'd bite and scratch us if given the opportunity. <sighs> Once a Lemurian is bound to someone, tis impossible to go against their wishes. She will have the power to command your quintessence when the two of you barely know each other. Is that something worth giving? The day has dragged on long enough. I'm tired. Sleeping. Wake me before nightfall. Was it fun to explore Lemuria?
there is no need to shout my name. "'Twas a test made for you. Elder Amund was right. Human promises are but meaningless words. I told you to wake me before nightfall, didn't I? <sighs> Besides, when I saved you from the ocean's clutches, we made an oath. Did you forget? I will grant you deliverance, and in exchange, offer yourself, your everything to me. Become my follower, mortal. I am not a god who answers every whim. The ceremony is to take place in a month. And as you are aware, ceremonies always need. All right, return to me your life. Tis not worship that I desire. From the depths of your very soul, I seek only the purest devotion. The tides ebb and flow, and with every setting sun is a moon rising. Till time's end, I should occupy your every thought. You must believe in me alone. Think of it from another perspective. Thou is to find a means by which thy heart becomes smitten with me. You must keep an eye out. Humans eat everything. Fish can always be on the main course. We also like to eat fish. What fish do they like? They also tend to use hot water for their baths. <gasps> do you remember Lemuria's flame? We call it the sun below the waves. The fire grows weak as seasons pass. The sea god must reignite it during his coming of age ceremony. As you must know, we are in the deep sea. Sunlight cannot reach this place, let alone moonlight. Without this flame, Lemuria would be plunged into a horrifying darkness. If we were not able to see each other, we would transform into hideous beasts. It has no name. Treat it as the Miraculous Conch of Wonders. Take it. The shell will accept all your pointless laments and complaints. Are you interested in some sightseeing? 
Follow me. No. You can hold my hand. But don't hold on to it too tightly. Is it pleasing to look at? Tell me of the world on the surface. There are records of them in the college's library. And don't give me that look of pity. Tis rude. Can you name even one of the peculiar creatures of the deep sea? Don't waste your time. One should practice silence when watching the sunset. I do not. Your tongue barely moved when we first met. Back then, you were rather... This side of you is much more to my liking. Were the surface world as lovely as you claim, you'd be elsewhere. If you persuade me to bring you to the beach, you'll run away. Is the surface world sunset different from the one in the ocean? Let's go. The beach. You spoke of humans celebrating the sea god's birthday for several days. Yes. Two-legged creatures like you are slow and lack the ability to protect themselves. Without me, you won't survive a single day in the ocean. Have you lived there a long time?
Why didn't you try to escape? You were originally a sacrifice to the Sea God. Why are you inviting yourself into their domain? Unable to break his vow with the girl and his own burning passion, the god of the sea left the ocean and lived happily ever after with his beloved. But Lemuria is centered around bonds. Without it, the sea god won't remember or obey her. What are you talking about? The god of the sea will find his beloved and live happily ever after. You're also naive. What do you think, miss? Will the sea god be with her because he loves her? Or because of their vow? What about you, sir? Does Lumeria exist? Would the sea god give his heart to a human? He would. Lumeria is my homeland, so that is how I know. Like. Their tears turn into glimmering pearls, and their voices bring dreams of wonder. Their blood can make one live forever, or even resurrect the dead. Mm. I already knew that. Lemurians don't fall in love with people they are bound to. Tis a human fantasy. What else? Are you that curious? The young lady there. Inform her that someone is waiting. If she doesn't return soon... That person won't keep waiting. I'm not upset, but... Someone stole the pearl eyes from the sea god statue in the temple. You must be the thief! You're mistaken. The person who gave these to me... is over there! I would never dare touch the sea god's treasures! There! Seize them! Will they imprison us? Ah, well, we should start running. I just found them in the sand before we... Ouch! Don't you want to stay? If that's your wish, I can distract them for you. In the Tome of the Sea God, the text states I must never go against your wishes. If I did, it'd mean we cannot be bound. I need only one follower. It doesn't have to be you. But you always wanted to live on the surface world, right? This event has nothing to do with me either. The thieves are over here! Capture them! Do you all want eyes from the god of the sea? I have tons. Have at it. Mine! It's mine! Cease! None of you can take them! 
they are only for the emissaries. Sir, I don't want the Sea God's eyes. Can I get your Sea God puppet instead? Here, remember to keep them together. Jump. Not with me here. Hold on tight. If I did, your last kiss would have been given to this generation's sea god. Also, watch what your arms and legs are doing. I don't mind. Give me your hand. We went through a lot of effort to see the sunrise. Why are you quiet? As a young boy, my life was no different from yours. The prophecy stated Lemuria was to only have one god of the sea left. My predecessor passed away, and they found me years later bathed in the flames under the union of dusk and dawn. The deep sea is dangerous. Only the strong survive. Tis why I can only go as far as the surface of the sea. Who do you think made that hole behind the college? So it is. When the fire goes out tomorrow, a new Lemurian prophecy will appear in the Tome of the Sea God. And when the fire is reignited, the ceremony will end. We sit on my divine throne, adorned with shells and pearls. A hundred golden crabs will carry us on a journey to every part of the deep sea. Indeed, I'll skip the first part of the ceremony was only make-believe nonsense. I don't know the details of the ceremony, 
but it won't be anything like the celebration on the surface world. Every participant will be blessed by the ocean. Tomorrow's blessing will be for everyone, but tis only yours at this moment. Tis a true emissary of the god of the sea. With it in your company, you need not be afraid of the danger that lies ahead. I also have a question. Tis a very, very important one. Are you willing to be my follower? The Sea God's heart, mine heart, dost thou want it? cares? Tomorrow will be the Sea God ceremony. It's... I... I'm not sure how to describe it. <laughs> we also prepared a lovely garment for you. Just stand in a conspicuous spot, and then give him your hand. Mm -mm. A thousand years passed since then. My grandfather's grandfather was still a child then. Oh, don't worry. I heard the Sea God's follower will help him see Lemuria's future. The prophecy will reveal the fate of Lemuria. You're free to play with us once the ceremony is over.
quiet. I don't want to be found right away. If you speak another word, you will return to being a scale, and a scale you'll be forevermore. I heard there is a lot of entertainment on land, as well as humans. You're small, barely even a bite if eaten. If we sneak out onto the surface world and meet bad people, could you do anything? Be careful, or else you'll be caught. They'll pluck all your scales and remove your insides. Humans will turn you into fish oil for a lamp and... Bite you! All of you are idiots. I'm over here. Try a little harder to find me next time. Can't you dumb sea cucumber? I told you to save a spot for us. We can't see anything here. Sister, don't be so mean. Your teacher's right in... Uh, why are you hiding there? The sea god won't be able to see you. Quiet. Here he is. This is my promise to you, for tis Lemuria's vow, a bond everlasting. <laughs>